Uh, Michael Buckley from Kerry Coaches, um, congratulations on winning Thank the award. So Thank you. Um, what would you say is the secret of your success so far? I suppose initially, customising vehicles to the client's needs. It was something that wasn't done previously. Uh, we saw a niche in the market in the mid-1990s, um, particularly in the golf market and the American tour market. And uh, we actually went to the States, met a lot of clients out there and gave them what they wanted essentially which was high specification, customised vehicles. A lot of these clients would have been travelling first class, so that we put first class aircraft seats into the vehicles, we put in tables, fridges, DVD players, or video systems as they were at the time, uh, put in mini bars, toilet washrooms, and basically had uh, uh, a standard, I suppose, a vehicle that wasn't previously known in Ireland, or possibly in the British Isles at the time, you know. And I'd imagine um, it's been a challenging time for lots of industries, but challenging in your area. Um, how did you kind of beat that? Did you? We obviously had to diversify. You know, we had built the fleet up to over 65 vehicles by 2006. Um, we were in a situation in 2008 where a lot of those high specification customised vehicles uh, weren't in use. And we just had to look at... Uh, rejigging some of them you know we made uh, mobile training units out of one we conceived a business called the killarney ghost tour so we gutted one of the vehicles and put in a couple of spiders and a few ghosts and uh, a few cobwebs here and there and created a different business which thankfully has become very successful every evening it does um, some goalish journeys around killarney and um, we obviously had to cost cut um, we uh, we're in a situation where a lot of our drivers were near retirement age, so I suppose in that regard we were lucky. But basically we had to trim, now we're back down to 50 odd vehicles and we have an infrastructure that can handle that, you know. And what are your plans now going forward? Going fa forward, funnily enough, we need to expand again. You know, we probably cut our cloth a little bit too tight um, and we're in a situation now where we're again reinvesting in new vehicles this year, uh, dealing with a couple of different markets. The f emerging eastern markets now, for example, are coming um, on stream a small bit. And uh, we just, I suppose, really need to keep the level of service up. We have a fantastic pool of um, drivers and guides and uh, they're out there selling the business every day for us. You know?